Hey guys, welcome to our new show, The Last Hit, presented by Mountain Dew and Game Fuel. And tonight, I am with my first guest, which is going to be Kieran Alorim Log. Kieran, how is it going, man? It's going great, Zab. How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. It's my first time hosting a show in English, and I can say it's not that easy for me, but it's pretty fun. No, I'll work with you, my man. Yeah, exactly. I have the best guest for the first one. Today, we're going to talk about a lot of things, and we're going, to, we're going to end up by a gaming station, Smash Brothers. But first of all, I want to talk about the last week of LCS. So, Optic went 2-0. Is it, isn't it like the biggest surprise of It's actually like the dream come true, man. 2-0 in Academy into 2-0 into LCS. Did we ever do that? No, remember last split, it was, we would go 0-2 in Academy, our life for the cause. Exactly. So that the LCS can win. Guys, please run it down. <laughs> like if you see a Baron, just get away. Don't or hit the Baron if you don't have the damage. You need to run it down. That was our excuse for losing every Academy game last split. Is like, yeah, man, we lost the Academy games. All the negative karma's on us. And now you guys get the win. Exactly. No, you have to win for us to win. Yeah, so yeah. you better wake up early and yeah, work with your, with your coach Kublai. So this week is 2-0 for uh, Optic, but like Liquid went 1-1, I guess. They lost a game. No. Did they? TSM beat Liquid. Yeah, TSM yeah, beat yeah. Liquid. It's pretty like they were actually very dominating this this week with like a win against TL and ex exploding like destroying CSG with a 15 played game. Who do you think is the best team after Liquid in this uh, in this region? It's hard to say because also I want to say it's really fitting for TSM to start winning as soon as the whole Wrath will be Swift meme started coming out. Yeah, it's like insane. that worked out perfectly for it's Acadian, Acadian man. <laughs> It worked out perfectly for Acadia. Like, I couldn't think of a better situation. But the second best team, by statistics, I guess you could say it would be TSM because they are the only ones to have beaten Liquid, right? And they've yes. got a pretty good record right now. Who And Cloud9 is, I think, in second right now. Yeah, I'd say Cloud9. Cloud9 has very strong... Like, they just love, like fighting. This game is just about fighting right yeah. now. It'd be between those two, in my opinion. And what's the worst team in LCS? The worst... <laughs> Man, you're really hitting me with <laughs> Am I taking this <laughs> It's Optic, for sure. We're 10. We're 10. Like, that's the meme. We have to make it leave. So, Temptic Gaming, like, last in LCS. Yeah, that's really brand. humble of you, man. The, the meme has to leave. And LCS is very packed right now, right? <clears throat> it's packed. It's like, you're two wins away of being very good and two wins, are, like, two wins close to being the last one. Yeah. How can you explain, like, this, this thing? Because this trend doesn't appear in Korea doesn't really appear in China, but in, in NA it's always very stacked for some reason. I think the easiest way to put it is that we're just the Fiesta region, right? Any team can be any team because you never know what you're going to do. Sometimes you're going to face against the team that's NA ARAM, the classic. You're just going to lose a fight by some miracle fight and then the enemy team wins the game. It just happens a lot in NA and when random stuff happens all the time, a worse team can beat a better team just based off, I won't, I'm not going to call it chance because obviously there was some sort of outplay, but some kind of maybe fluke on the winning team side. Yeah, that's that's very optic actually yeah. because we we've been losing all the games we should have won. Yeah. Or actually where we had the lead, and this weekend we went 2-0, and I'd say not in the bit, like most fashionable manner. So, do you like this whole bounty system and the fact that yeah, it's it's very hard to. Like, you need to very snowball and push it very, very hard, or enemy can always catch up. Well, with the bounty system, I think we can all agree that, like... It sucks. The, yeah, the design of it is pretty bad. I can get behind the idea of a comeback mechanic, and it's not like bounties are new to the game. There have always been bounties, but before, they were based off kills. Well, now it's based off the CS and your total gold and whatever miraculous, like, magical formula. No one like, knows. Yeah. It's like the average of enemy team goal. But both millennials can have a bounty Anytime. because they just beat the average of the, like, it doesn't make sense. Riot just found the alchemical equation for creating gold that the entire world has been looking for their entire <laughs> life. And whatever they did, they found it. And instead of putting it in real life, they put it in League. And yeah. that's how you randomly get gold on your character through nothing. But that's, that's actually true. You just get two kills and some, suddenly you have like 4k in your... They're brilliant. The scientists at Riot. Yeah, Riot they're at just... it again. The moment that you always been waiting for, which is the victory in a can moment, the moment that we choose from the last weekend, that has been the most successful. And for Optic, it's been the 400 IQ play from Crown. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching it 
and we saw the blue trinket outside the bush and we thought there's no way he did that on purpose but crown is just too smart for the enemy team man and he kills him we go to baron it actually triggers a series of action because like he gets the kill then there is the t kill teammate the nocturne teammate and then we just kill bang we go to baron and actually unlock the game it's like this is the kind of thing you never know if it's done on purpose yeah, or if it's yeah. like erratic but it's still like the outcome is so great and so He's, maybe he's playing 4D chess somehow. It, it was so far-fetched to me. I'm like, there's no way this will work. He's standing in the bush alone. But I guess we did have the global ultimate, so there was a reason behind it, obviously. And it worked out, so now we will call it brilliant. But if it didn't work out that way, we'd be calling it the stupidest play of all time. Exactly, but it worked yeah. out, and it's our victory in a can moment for this week. Don't miss out the next one. So you have been asking us questions concerning all lives or personal prospect and like how things are going from the Discord and from the me social media. So the first question I have for you, Kieran, is from Incarnation Live is what does your think family think of your job? How do you get into League and what are, are your favorite champs? I got into League from just friends telling me about the game and I used to play World of Warcraft before and before that it was Guild Wars. Before that, it was RuneScape and MapleStory. I went through all the games, just like many kids in middle school. I got in the league and stayed with it because I was good at the game from the very start. I went uh, up to 2300 ELO in my first season, season two, and I stayed high ELO ever since. So that's how I got started. The idea came to me of being a professional player after I continued to get a little bit better, get into high ELO, my name started getting out there. Um, and when I thought of this idea, obviously, not many people's parents are very fond of the idea of being pro gamer. My parents at first, I can't say they were supportive of me too much because they'd obviously be skeptical. They don't know much about it. I was allowed to do it. You know, they're not going to disown me for going pro in games. But if I was going to, I'd have to do it on my own. So I moved out. I, I lived off of my own money from streaming and doing jobs like mowing lawns and helping people move. Humble beginnings for your boy Alorum. But now you're here at yeah. Optic in Academy performing pretty well and it comes, it actually make a really good transition for the second question from Human Shoes who ask, changes you would like to see in the top lane? I'd say the biggest change is pretty obvious, the Conquer change, because that makes so many new top laners available. And the old meta was Urgot, and Scion, the Chad matchup of the century, push and move duty. But now you've got, with those champions out, Scion got nerfs and he was basically only put into Urgot. Urgot got huge nerfs, so that champion is dead. Now you've got a lot of things that can abuse Conqueror the most. Like, I'd say my number one example is Riven. If you're a Riven player, it's a good time to be alive. Jigsbert is asking, what are some tips for people who are trying to work on the Scion ultimate? Okay, well, these tricks are not even coming from me. I'm subscribed to the Austin Gate U newsletter who teaches me about my technology. I'm a top laner and I get all my tricks from my support player. He is convinced that the key item to get your Scion Speedway higher is to get Righteous Glory and just burn it before you ult because that makes your startup if you're ult faster. Another question, which is a mean one. After multiple fade attempts, how good does it feel to hit a Scion ult? Kieran. Well, you know, people just don't understand. I was there in the LCS stage, press the Scion R, boom, there comes the sun. She raised straight in my eyes. Uh, Miss I, I know. I hate know it when one. that happens, right? Yeah. And so when I finally hit one, that's when I bought my glasses. My sunglasses finally came to my hands and I finally hit the Scion R. It was that easy. I can't believe Riot didn't patch that hole in the wall though. They knew it was hitting me in the eye. Yeah, exactly. And it's Unbelievable. only when you play. Only when you play. Yeah, I, 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 yeah it's not it's really a conspiracy and they're all in on it. Perfectly understand. And the weird thing is we have exactly the same hole in the same wall as the office. <laughs> it's kind of like mind-blowing somehow. But yeah, it's so just, does, it feels good. After it's most, God's right? will, but I've countered it with sunglasses. You're a monster, man. For Android IQ. And the last question we'll have for this episode is... What's your favorite food? Steak and mashed potatoes. As there's, per usual. There's nothing better. I'm telling you, there is nothing better. You get a medium rare ribeye steak, and they better be good mashed potatoes because 
everyone knows any respectable steak meal or a steakhouse restaurant will come with equally good mashed potatoes. It is part of the meal. It is part of the experience. And that is the perfect meal. So you're the pro player here and I get what you say, but as a French person, I'm the food critic here. And there is a variety of things that can serve with a steak. I give you this one, mashed potatoes is one of them, but definitely there is better things, but it's not a, it's not a show about me, right? I know American taste in food are the best. That's, that's for sure. They're known, about, they're known for it worldwide. Exquisite taste. Exactly, man. So yeah, that's it for the questions. And thanks, guys. So if you have more questions, you can literally ask them on our Discord, or the Optic Discord or on social media, and we just pick them for the next show, the next episode of Last Set. The next part of this show is going to be the patch note rundown. You know, guys, 9.4 is out recently, and I'm going to ask you, who's the winner? The winner of the, the patch. The winner of the patch. Riven. Riven? Who's the loser of the patch? Ergot. In the top lane, okay. Who is the most unexpected change? I think it's any Conqueror user. Yeah. Any Conqueror user, like, they're just gonna appear out of nowhere. Yeah, it's kind of like, out of nowhere, this Conqueror change. Yeah. I feel like this mastery has never been balanced for, for some reason. It's always like very oppressive or kind of like useless. Well, the people keep saying to revert Conqueror back like to Fervor, but the thing is, they're asking to do a flawed design Conqueror back to an overpowered rune, which was Fervor. So like, you're replacing something that was overpowered and gimmick, or not gimmicky, but just straight up overpowered to something that was overpowered in old times. So what are you really accomplishing? Let's replace the true damage with a bunch of attack damage. It's just gonna be OP on other characters. The last part of the show, me versus Kieran. So for this one, we're going to make the crazy possible like Smash game. Five minutes, every item, every character, every stage, morphing into every stage. It had just like the the better player win for sure, man. Like better this player. proves, this proves who's the best Smash player. For like whatever happens outside of this doesn't matter. We're playing NA NA region Smash. NA exactly. This is this is to Smash Bros. What NA is to League of Legends. Let's go. Oh, oh I got a, oh, I got Mother Brain. You're so scared. Oh no no. <laughs> 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 you're, no, you're not going. No! You're so bad. It's crazy. No, I'm not bad. You are bad. Why do you get the legend? I'm so much man, better. And I got. I am just better. And I you got, don't want to accept. No, but that's fine, man. I got the Voltix Ice Edition. Oh, I guess this I get hit. True combo. True combo. <laughs> Time for a little payback. Did he ever say that in Star Fox 64? Is I don't that know. Where it comes from? I never played Star Fox. I played just the Star Fox uh, on GameCube, and the game was way too long. Oh, uh, Star Fox Adventures, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too easy. Black hole. It's a smash. <laughs> You're a so good at aiming. Mine sucks, man. I just barely put you anyway. Yeah, your up is better than your final smash, actually. Yeah, actually. Where are you, bro? Where are you at? Where are you at? Not <laughs> down the hole. Get off. That's a solid 50% jump. Yeah, that's a true combo there. Didicon, the banana. To a pair. No! Wait, how'd you die? I don't know. I Wait, don't what know. got you? Nope, don't go down. I won't let you down. Damn it. Oh no. Help me. No, you and didn't. I'm the better player. You're the best. <laughs> I have nothing to say. You won this one. And I'm the better player. Ah, uh, there is nothing to say. Whether competitive or casual, Kieran is I'm the just, best match player. Yeah. Just joking. I was sandbagging a whole time. I'm just the better player. <laughs> He's so mad. Look how red his face is. Uh. Okay, here we are. It's the end of the first episode. It has been a great pleasure. I think I never had so much joy in my life, Kieran. I of have course. To say it. Yeah, it was the best. And I've been doing like video things for like years and years, being a caster. But you're the best. 
guess I've I get had. it. It's your privilege yeah, to exactly. have me here. Exactly. I'm an important man. I've got many other things to do with my time. And next week, we're going to have, of course, a better guest. Yeah, because he's the best because he's the first one. So, guys, please subscribe and see you next week.